Thanks. Um, some gear of South Wales communists sweeping in the streets of Port Talbot, chatting to people um, about a campaign that we're launching for the, uh, the occupation of the steelworks. These people were very uh, emotional uh, uh, in the sense of they felt a lot of anger towards the situation that's happening at the moment. I'm out here today door knocking, paper selling uh, and kind of talking to the people of Port Talbot, um, trying to get our ideas across and understand their ideas on the impacts of the, the job losses coming at the Port Talbot Steelworks uh, and trying to drum up some community support um, to, to really take the fight back to Tata. Uh, Nationalised Tata, occupy the steelworks, the rich get richer, the poor get poorer. Yeah, we've had a number of interesting chats through today. It's been, um, I think there's been two sort of key camps of people we've spoken to. You've got, of course, the people who are very just, I mean, depressed, for, for lack of a better word. It, it's, it's, it's very sad. You can sort of really see the impact on, on these people. They've got family members, friends, you know, acquaintances. Everyone's being hit the same. But then, of course, you've got that other sort of group of people who, who you can just see the anger starting to boil. They're looking for solutions. It's there's so many uh, people have been so happy to see it, so appreciative of our, of our support even if they didn't so, you know, have our whole program board. So whilst of course there's a very sad mood, uh, I see a hell of a lot of potential for, for, for massive movements within the class struggle. I thought you were bringing someone from Bush. Yeah. 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 Uh, and under the banner of enough is enough, we need to stand up on our feet and do something about it. We did meet people, by the way, who were very keen on the idea of doing something. Blunder. There was a, a chap at this Unite meeting that I was at, heard him say this personally. He said it, in, again, in plain language, we have to land a punch on Tata, we have not landed a punch on them yet. And everything is just, how can we reduce prices? How can we make things cheaper? How can we reduce the labour force? How can we make more and more cuts? Uh, I'm a nurse, and uh, we went through our own strike last year. You know, with crisis over crisis over crisis, and a complete lack of political leadership. One thing I'm sure of, sure of, is that we can't just take this lying down. We have to put up a real fight. Port Halba is now at a crossroads, and we only have a few options left. We've seen what happens when the bosses win, and we see the results of their victory. That's why we need an actual fight, some genuine industrial militancy. Every time I've seen cases of this kind of response, a true battle with the bosses, it has come with the greatest bravery, and when it wins, it takes the cake for the workers. When the workers unite and do battle with the bosses in the arms of the state, the outcome is always something made for the history books.